Hi, my name is Glenn Scott, the painter. And I'm going to show you how to refinish a, just a standard bookshelf. This is not a high-end piece. As a matter of fact, it's a low-end piece, but you can make it look really nice. I'm going to refinish it into, a, into an antique white. And as you can see, I've sanded everything with a palm sander just lightly. You just want to scuff it up. So that it'll accept the primer. I've lightly sanded everything and now I'm gonna before you put your primer on though with these dark pieces you have to caulk all these seams. You have to caulk every seam. See the split here in the back? You have to caulk that all the seams, all the corners. So I'll be doing that here in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to start caulking these corners so you can see how to do it. It's not rocket science. It's a lot harder. Again, you have to caulk every corner, every seam. Because if you don't, it'll show up when you put the white finish on. The trick is to have water on your fingertips when you do this. You gotta fill that crack in. Get your rag wet. And you get your fingertip wet with water and you do the corners.
Okay, we're going to prime it another coat. As you can see, it's coming along pretty good. The primer's drying out. I'm going to give it another coat of primer. And again, I'm using Kills Original, the oil base. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I gave it another, I sanded it, I gave it another coat of primer again. This is the third coat. I'm going to do the final sand on it. And what I'm going to do is burn the edges to give it that distressed look. Okay, I've already sanded this interior. So what I'm going to do now is start burning the edges so you can see it. What that needs is taking the sander a little harder on the edges and bringing through that old dark color that it previously was. Okay, now we're going to spray on a clear. I get it at Home Depot. It's your thing but it's an acrylic, it's water-based. Anyway, what you want to do when you're spraying, you don't want to start out like, like so and pull away from your shot, because as you're pulling away from your shot, over spray is going on what you've already painted. What you want to do is go into your shot. The secret to this type of thing is to keep the surface wet. In other words, don't pull away because all you're doing is leaving overspray all over the top of what you just sprayed. So you want to spray going into your shot. Okay, I'm going to give it another coat. It's been about 30 minutes. Acrylic dries really fast, so you can go over it right away. Now I'm going to put it on a little closer and heavier. And this will be the final coat. Well, you can give it as many coats as you like, really. This is a semi-gloss. Okay, the final coat's on, and I wanted to show it to you up close, so you can see it. It's really nice. It's a semi-gloss finish, and then I wanted to show you when I was burning the edges, what that looks like up close. See how that old finish comes through? See that? That gives it that distressed look. Anyway, it turned out pretty good. See the distressed areas? They look nice. Not too much. Just enough. See that? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped. If so, please subscribe, leave some comments, ask some questions, that's fine. I do consulting. Okay, I wish you well. Thanks for watching.